Hello, my fellow T Bags. Cinemax 77 coming at you today. And, uh, have a knife review video for y'all today. Um, this particular review is over a uh, knife and knife maker that you can only find one place online uh, to actually buy his products. Uh, the only place where he actually sells them at, uh, so to speak. Now, I am talking about a good dear friend of mine uh, who I've never met, <laughs> but he's a good buddy. Damn good friend. Uh, it's an honor to call him brother, uh, friend, uh, and it's a privilege to actually own one of his blades. Now, if you haven't quite figured it out yet, I'm talking about L. Marshall 32. Uh, you can find uh, his online store at GearBastion.com, which is an awesome place because it is nothing but YouTube knife makers on that sh on that site. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, now, Marshall is just an awesome, awesome uh, person. Uh, he is an awesome member of our YouTube commu knife community. Um, He's a great friend, an excellent husband and father. Uh, just, he's good people. Flatline, good people. So, with all that being said, we're going to talk about his uh, hybrid Tanto EDC knife. Yes. Uh, the reason why it's called the Hybrid Tanto because this is his Hybrid Tanto design that he came up with for the Sugar Creek Forge build-along. Yeah, yeah, I remember, Marshall. I remember. Uh, now, uh, you can see on this side, you see it says number two, and you can see CKC knife maker mark right there. And you flip this side over, and you see, hold up, let me... Uh, Polish it up for you a little bit. I'm going to do it Marshall style. There we go. Uh, as you can see, it says number, what is that, 37 with Marshall's Makers Mark on it. Now, this is a collab between uh, CKC Knives, LMK Knives. Uh, it is Marshall's Design, Kylie Harris, who is CKC Knives. What did Jet Cut? these blanks for him and Marshall did his job on it. Uh, the blade steel is AEB-L steel which is the steel that they use to make razor blades out of. So you know that nice you know Schick or Gillette or even possibly uh, some newer model straight razors and box openers and stuff like that all made out of this steel. So you automatically know that the steel itself can get an awesome edge to it. Here we go. Uh, I don't remember the Rockwell on this one, but if I remember correctly, it's like a 58, 59, maybe even a 60. I believe it's a 60. I believe it's in the 60s, yeah. Maybe even a 61. Uh... But yeah, it's definitely in the 60s. Uh, it's an awesome, awesome knife. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go over some specs real quick because I can't find the specs online. And I've never actually measured this knife. So, got to make sure y'all see the uh, hole in the tip of the uh, measuring tape there. There you go. That's a good shot right there. I uh, got to make sure I don't get the tip of the knife in that hole. And I gotta be careful not to cut myself again today. Uh, we have an overall length of six and five eighths inches long, with uh, exposed blade being two and five eighths inches, handle being straight up four inches. Cutting edge on this is measuring out at, hold up, got to get this down. 
so we have an inch on the straight and hold up one and a half so that's three and a half inches worth of cutting edge which is awesome now uh, Marshall has done all sorts of cool work to it he has hourglass handle of these beautiful natural canvas micarta scales uh, which he has pinned and glued in place with a lanyard tube which is awesome gotta have a lanyard on a fixed blade y'all um, deep finger choil uh, nice grooves excellent contouring uh, if I was to cut this knife handle directly like right here you would see that it has a uh, triangular shape to the handle which is awesome because if you do your hand like this and you look it's a triangular shape see right there beautiful shot right there so the natural contours of your hand are filled perfectly uh, Marshall did make this uh, especially for me uh, the handle is exactly long as my hand is wide uh, where, where I grip my knives at uh, so it fits extremely oh damn my cigarette went out uh, extremely well in the hand no matter whether you hold it you know in a saber grip standard grip or reverse grip it just it feels so awesome now what I love about Marshall and his finger choils is that what I love about finger choils in general but especially Marshall's because he does them nice and deep um, is that you can take the thumb and put pressure on the spine and that's it and if you just put pressure on your thumb it already automatically locks that knife in your hand so like this right here you see I'm only putting pressure on my thumb and if y'all don't believe y'all see the indentation in my finger there yeah I was pulling down hard matter of fact if you get look close enough damn camera's not going to catch it but you can actually see the line from the Ricasso area right here so excellent excellent ergos on the knife I can't complain somebody else who has a smaller hand than me might complain about it. it's too big it doesn't feel comfortable in their hand well you gotta have a bigger hand to enjoy a knife like this now my complaints about the blade steel None. Not a single one. Uh, complaints about the knife? None. None. I can't complain, period. Uh, hell, I am unprepared as always. Ugh. Now the knife came to me shaving sharp. Marshall don't believe me, but it came to me shaving sharp. And I'll prove that here in a second. Uh, but it's still fairly sharp as you can see you see that Marshall that is just for you bruh look you there oh aha uh -huh. I think it's curly cute from the get-go even the first one's curly cute a little bit look at that that's just excellent uh, y'all see that there I know it's nasty and disgusting if you can't see uh, right there that spot right there is completely baby smooth now uh, take a well guess I've never sharpened this. I haven't sharpened it yet. Uh, I do have what looks like a small nick in my blade, but I think it's just a uh, material caught in it because I do use this knife quite a bit. 
uh, I've actually gone out of my way to use this knife. Uh, I've maintained the edge on this knife just using this strop right here that I got from Serene Madness. And Brother Paul, whatever material this is right here, you got to let me know, bro. bro. That uh, shit's just fucking fantabulous. Uh, now, about the knife itself. Uh, let me get all the bufunkus off the blade, and I'll show you. Uh, Marshall actually does an awesome polished job. Y'all can see all the scratches that I have on there from me using it, uh, and also from the Kydex. Let's see, where's that one go? Uh, I actually have, yeah, a series of micro scratches on this side right here from me batoning with this knife. Uh, yes, I was batoning some mesquite, some dried out mesquite, some dried out mesquite, extremely hard wood. Uh, I rank it up there with like oak when it comes to its uh, tensile strength, so to speak. Um, excellent, excellent hardwood. And this is an excellent knife. Batoned easily through them. Uh, so uh, for bushcraft, it can be possible, feasible to use this for bushcraft. Uh, EDC wise, the thing is just downright phenomenal. Uh, FT, Famous Trails Tactical Tanto, weighs more than this. Uh, for those of y'all who have one, this is the Mini AK put up by Cold Steel. This knife weighs probably about two ounces more than this mini AK. It's just an awesome, awesome knife. It has put up with a lot of abuse for me. Uh, I have thrown this knife. I have batoned with it. Uh, I've used it for cooking in my kitchen. Uh, prep work. Um, made feather sticks out of it. I've made figure four, four traps with it. Uh, what else? Um, I sat there and I actually cut through like, what was it, 50 or 60 boxes with this knife sitting down and each and every single time the only thing I had to do was strop it back up and it has come back to being razor sharp. I'm, I'm digging this steel, I really am. Uh, you can see it's got a beautiful polish to it. The majority of the scratches on here or from the Kydex, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know how uh, Kydex can put more scratches on it than a piece of uh, mesquite, but it did, and it has. It's excellent, man, because I actually used this knife to uh, do everything uh, I needed to do to prep a cookout, uh, like, last week? Yeah, last week. Uh, went to the park. I uh, wanted to cook out, decided I didn't want to go to charcoal, I wanted to go with natural wood, stuff like that. This was the only fixed blade I had on me at the time because uh, I was the only one with a handle on it big enough that I wanted to work with because this is the other fixed blade that I had on me. Just went, gathered up some uh, mesquite, uh, anything that was thicker than two inches in diameter, I used that to split it with, it was awesome works wonderfully. I have no complaints about the knife at all. I don't have any complaints about the sheath. Uh, the sheath is excellent retention. And as you can see, I still have it set up for a Merc harness, which is awesome. Uh, Marshall sent it to me static cord ready. Now, uh, I don't like too many things uh, shoved inside my waistband because I'm a fat boy. Uh, and I kind of got the muffin top happening. So I decided that Merc Harness would be the best carry for option for that. And when I do carry it uh, inside the waistband static cord style, I have to say it is the most comfortable knife I've ever had there. Uh, I can barely tell it's there. When I got it in the Merc Harness, I forget that I have it on until I sit down in the car. And the way I sit down in the car, that's when the knife actually gets hit by my uh, center console and kind of like pushes into me a little bit and just a slight adjustment and that's taken care of. So it's an awesome knife. For those of y'all who do not have one of Marshall's blades, 
You might want to think about ordering one because y'all would be highly impressed. Uh, this knife in particular is number 37. Out of all the knives that he has made, he's made 37 uh, up to this point. Uh, number two in this particular series because I believe he had grand total of a dozen, if I remember correctly, maybe it was nine of uh, uh, blanks made from this AEB-L steel. Um, he had three of the EDC Tanto. I believe he had uh, three of the Bushcraft designs that Kali sent him, and he had three of the uh, larger, medium-sized uh, hybrid tantos that he makes, and I say large to medi or medium to large is because he likes to make them a lot bigger than that. <laughs> but anyways, bro, I cannot thank you enough for this knife. It is excellent. Um, the craftsmanship is just downright phenomenal. Uh, and being my first and only true custom knife, I cannot complain about a single solitary thing it's beautiful it it really does look like it was manufactured in somebody's warehouse man it's it's excellent there is like no flaws to it at all Marshall say there's flaws to it and that's because he's too picky about his work don't be so picky bro it's all right it's fucking boss fucking boss <laughs> I'm digging this, dude. I really am. Uh, I am definitely going to get a larger one. And uh, I'm going to use the hell out of it, too. So thank you all very much. There will be a link in the description below for Marshall's channel. Y'all go check him out. Okay, he's good, honest, awesome people. You will dig him. I dig him. I'm honored to call him friend. I'm honored to call him brother, you know, and uh, good people, good people. So before this winds up turning into a 20-minute video, uh, Marshall, thank you again for the knife. Congratulations on Destructo Jr. That's awesome, bro. Uh, tell Mama Sita I said congratulations on the new bouncing baby boy. Uh, tell the princesses I said hi. Don't let them watch my video, sir. And y'all have a great day. Y'all go check out Marshall. Link in the script below. Y'all go check him out. He's good people. Quality. Quality people. So, y'all go check him out. You yourselves have an awesome day. Keep your finger in the troll. I'll holler at you later. Deuces. Bye.